also to Changing lives. Students, just like everyone else, but uh, they behave differently because their faith influences them positively. After I saw how knowledgeable they were and how much they interacted with their father, I felt very proud of them. I was glad to see how their father encouraged them to always learn from the Bible. Arlu received Bible studies and was baptized, but the twins learned from their dad not to be discouraged if the person doesn't actually get baptized. Actually, they learn and teach how to give successful Bible studies. I've been married to Joao for 18 years, and ever since I've known Joao, sometimes while we were dating, he would spend a weekend at home and some weekends he'd be away doing these Bible studies. Then, when the children were born, he later took them when they were old enough. I would like to be like my dad when I grow up. Why? Because he's, he's smart. That is smart. He knows a lot. I would like to be just like my dad. He's different from other people. I don't know how he is. And if you at home would like to follow the example distribute pamphlets, or best of all, be an example. Opening the Bible in someone's home and letting them know what's going to happen should certainly be a high priority every day for those who want to serve God. If I were to stop doing this, I would lose motivation to attend church. And why this concern? What's an, an album um, listening of one, um, listening of one of a cappella group? And um, I hope you are seeing the pictures. If not, don't worry. With time, we are going to show it to you. Yes, that is our Adventist youngsters doing wonderfully and amazingly well when it comes to music. All right, so if you just tune in, it's so Rhythms of Life, and my name is Nana Kusia Boache. Today, we are going to discuss uh, the in-depth of choral music. If you missed last week's episode, then please just go to our YouTube page, that's Hope TV Ghana, or Facebook, Hope TV Ghana, and then you can get a gist of what we're about talking um, about, actually. Last week was just the surface of it all about um, music and Adventism, but today we are tackling the choral music. So um, we'll go for a quick break. We'll be back. I'm going to introduce my guest to you, and then we dive into the conversation. Don't go anywhere.
welcome back from the break it's still rhythms of life if you just joined us and um today i have two wonderful guests one you already know the other you might know but you don't know derek Hi. <laughs> how you doing eddie oh smile a bit to eddie <laughs> why it looks like see let me give you <laughs> You heard him. Yes. So, so uh, the both of them slept, woke up, and chose violence. Today, <laughs> they are saying they are going to heat this place out. They are going to pour out their heart to, uh, you know, the leaders, actually. Oh, in the professional way. But I hope both of you are doing well. Yes, yes, the family. Yes, yeah, sure. we are fine. We thank God for that. So, um, a bit of last week, um, we were looking at singing band choir, choral. In fact, music in general, when it comes to Adventism, it is noted that Adventists really don't have music of our own. So there's nothing like Adventist music. So I'd rather say music when it comes to Adventists, actually. So um, Pastor Abe, wherever you are, Odenke, we say a big shout out to you, gave us a bit of original history about how music found its way into Adventism. And then he deliberately gave us some of the things that were missing or things that um, actually we're not doing for some reason or the other. I won't tell you all because I want you to go and watch last week's episode. But this week we are diving into Corral. How best has Corral helped Adventists as a whole? It role and what we can also learn that we don't know when it comes to choral music and what we are going to unlearn when it comes to choral music. I'll begin with Eddie. Yes, sir. Eddie, last week you were so hot. Yes, and then our time was up, so I just had to wrap up. Wrap up about it. Yes. So you made a point as to the fact that with um, Adventist music, when it comes to choral, we are mistaking certain things when it comes to choral music as a whole. I would like you to, you know, begin with that and then we move on. Okay, so um, I extend greetings to your viewers out there. In fact, last week I was making mention of um, composers, mm -hmm. the Adventist composers. Um, we trying to make use of the songs that are coming from our regular singers. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't score their music, mm -hmm. but we are into songs that have been scored. So I had a challenge when it comes to the lyrics. So when we say Adventist music, I will, I will be in line when we say the lyrics makes it an Adventist music because we have our faith and our beliefs. So whenever we are teaching songs, our choirs, certain songs, we should know that the songs are in line with our beliefs and our faith. You see, before this discussion this evening, we were raising concerns about certain hymns mm -hmm. that after careful study from some of us, we understand that it looks like it is not in line with our faith our and belief beliefs. and doctrine. Yes, but then uh, sometimes you believe that who are you? you just, you're just a young man in the church and then you cannot raise your mouth so much because all these things have gone to proper scrutiny before we adopted them as our full hymn books. So though we are researching so much into it, we need to be very careful not to criticize when there is no need. Mm -hmm. But with the chorals that we are writing, aside the hymns that we've compiled, mm -hmm. we need to make sure that the songs are in line with what we believe as Seventh-day Adventists. So I was adv advising that um, when you compose a song, we should be in line. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can actually compose a song for maybe another church, and then you choose to use what they believe in. Maybe they're having the anniversary or something and you want to write a song to them. You choose to use what they believe in. But any time the song is going to be sung in a Seventh-day Adventist service mm -hmm. in the church, then we should make sure that the content is in line with the faith and the beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventists. And I think that is where some of us too, we are having so much challenges because mm -hmm. we pick composers. Most of the popular composers that we have are kind of not Adventists. Mm. No, be, be specific. You yes. say kind of. Yes, they, they are, not, are not. Though we, the reason why I'm saying kind of is that mm -hmm. we are working with them. They are set to come to our churches to have workshops and mm -hmm. other stuff with us. So I'm not trying to push them away. You are not pushing they them away. They are the people away. we've just, been working with. Yes, we won't And then it will surprise you that mm -hmm. they are even the people who are mostly ready to, 
to, to, to work with the yeah. young ones who are coming. Than those who, yes, the few at, who at are times our, composers. our elderly composers, it becomes a little difficult having them. Please. Yes. Yeah, so so yes. when you take these uh -huh. regular composers that we have, that are having a name already, they are mostly not Adventists. So my advice that was going was that we should be very careful when we are selecting their songs because uh -huh. definitely they are moved by what they believe in in their uh -huh. churches, not what Adventists believe in. So when you pick the song and it doesn't suit our faith, everything, I think you have to drop it uh -huh. and then reconsider songs you are going to teach okay. again. Derek. Hi. What's your thought on this? I think he said it all. Uh, for, for instance, my, when, 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 you bring, when, you, when you gave me a score, uh, the first thing I look at, it's, look at is, is the text. Uh, I go through the text very well. As you rightly said, some of the texts uh, would suit our, 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 our beliefs, or let's say will not be in line with our beliefs. So as you rightly said, uh, every director or every mm -hmm. I mean a song teacher in the Seventh Adventist Church, uh, we, we must be very careful. Uh, as you rightly said, majority the popular composers, majority of the uh, composers are not uh, Seventh day Adventist uh, members, but they are the people we mostly fall on for, for, for music and the scores and mm -hmm. other stuff. So the text is very, very important. Mm -hmm. We must pay attention to the text before we even teach the choir. Okay, so for our viewers to really understand, especially those who didn't join last week, um, Derek, what role um, has the singing band or the choir played in choral music? Well, I would say uh, when it started, uh, I would say I, I, I wasn't there. But <laughs> the, little that, <laughs> the little that I, I came mm -hmm. to meet, uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, those who started it uh, did their best. And I think where they left it and where we find it now, I think uh, th there has been some improvement. There has been some improvement in, 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 in our singing, though we are not there yet. But I believe we are doing well. We are not mm. doing badly at all. We are doing, doing very, very, very well. What improvements can, can you actually think of? Oh, uh, as, uh, last week when I was listening to, to the program, mm -hmm. I think now you could even find youngsters I mean, uh, instead of, let's say, going to, I mean, joining the church choir, you find them with a singing band as well. So I think, uh, I mean, there's some improvement mm -hmm. in there. I mean, now you, can, you could find singing band uh, groups doing anthems, uh, mm -hmm. doing classical music. Mm -hmm. So I think in that direction, they are, they are, they are doing something good. Yeah. Eddie, Derek mentioned a classical yeah, music yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it, when it comes to adventists when you mention classical uh, some of them say it's a bit new actually they don't really know what classical really is yeah. is it the hymns you sing are some of them classical or some of the um, songs from composers please you see, I, am, I am i am not a, a, so much a music by education <laughs> i learned it by passion so my maybe passion. my yes maybe my my seniors out there might not find my comments uh, the way but i'm speaking the way i feel it mm -hmm. adventists are not so much used to classical music mm -hmm. now a song may be written by a ghanaian composer but it is classic yeah classical music meaning has that so not to mean most of the time is the foreign yeah it looks it looks okay. foreign you know, the classical music falls back from some years back, mm -hmm. it, it was a particular genre that um, that hand, handle and yeah, the rest. An so era. Yeah. yeah, it was an era. So whenever the songs that maybe I compose a song, I choose to use their form, the way they mm -hmm. go about it, where mm -hmm. violins and others mm -hmm. can be can be put together, and you see that the tempo of that song isn't normal like the ones we sing in church regularly. Melismas, where you'll be hearing the hey, 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 those things you understand that this is a classical piece. It can be a tree song, mm -hmm. but it's still a classical piece. I take a song like James Varikama's Asidan Kenya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why in Asidan Seno, why cry? It's a classical piece, mm -hmm. yes. But it's a local composer who actually did it. So the nature of the song makes us classi classify it as a classical That's piece. Right. But without church, we are used to the anthems, the local anthems. Mm -hmm. So you realize that the reason why we don't do much of those songs is it doesn't make a great impact 
especially with our typical local churches. Maybe when I take a church like Pesdak, when you do classical music, looking at the people around, mm -hmm. you get them to love it. But when you take a church like my church in Kumasi, Asaf SD, and you come and do classical music, my mom will just sit down like this and observe what you do. <laughs> but when you take a song like, Hey, Jaffrey, me, hey, Jaffrey, whoa, she's glad. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why we don't do much of classical music. But of late, mm -hmm. I've seen that when the choirs are going for conferences and others, they choose certain songs. I think it's for technical purpose. Mm -hmm. Because when you use the classical music in competitions and others, it builds the choir their vocals and everything. So, yes, we are appreciating it. But when we are doing it in our services, I'm always particular about the service because when, whatever we sing in the service should have impact on the listener. It shouldn't be like we came for fans. Then we just sing and then they don't get anything out of it. But when we go for our choir conferences, whatever we are singing, technically, directors are also looking at it. And that one, we can choose to be doing certain songs, mm -hmm. at least to push the choir, their strength, mm -hmm. the ability to learn certain songs and certain dynamics in music so mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So that is what I can say about All that. Right. So Derek, um, he is mentioning impacts yeah. that the song can have. What um, impact or say the importance of choral music, especially during service? What impact can it make on church members? Because most of the time, most church members know of the singing band and then the choir. What can the choral music do? Well, the impact, what I would say, what I would, what I would say is that when, when they're able to relate to the song, especially at service, that's what I always say. I mean, let's do songs that people, people can relate. The moment they can relate, they, they will enjoy the, the song, they will enjoy everything about the song, including the text as well. And after the service, you, you could clearly see that people have been touched after the ministration. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we must always do songs that, especially as, he, as he really said, especially at service, we should do songs that, one, falls in line with our beliefs, two, uh, songs that they can relate mm. and when relating means songs that they can understand mm. especially with the text the text is very very important mm -hmm. if they if they could follow the text i mean if if if, if you've done i mean what is expected of you at, at, on that day but eric you see come to think of it we already had singing bands that was most of the question um you hear we already have the singing band and then the choir why organize or, or put together a choral group? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, <coughs> you, you have food at your disposal mm -hmm. and then you call both food. Uh, I mean, is it because the food in the house is not nice enough? So you are ordering food from um, both? It's very nice. It's very nice. Yes. So if we have singing band and mm -hmm. then choir, why choral uh, music group actually? Yeah. I, I don't think it's it's something bad. It's it's a form also to to propagate the gospel as well. So uh, I would say you are not doing it to 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 let's say bring down the choirs or something. But it's also a form to bring the youth also together and also spread the gospel through through music. So I don't think it's is anything bad. But it's also a form of bringing the youth together. That's one. Because most of the times, uh, you know, the times for rehearsal with the local churches, it doesn't suit well with uh, the youngsters. You know, the youngsters are people who have, who have, I mean, who have come out from school, who are pursuing other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, because they can get time to 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 attend a local choir rehearsal and singing band as well, um, I think the best place they they can also come together and also do God's work. It's also coming, uh, forming these choral groups and also doing uh, the work of God. So I don't think it's anything bad. Mm, Eddie. Yes, um, this question, I love it. Yes. The reason why I love it is that uh -huh. it has been an issue with most church elders. They mm -hmm. feel it's not necessary to have these choral Yeah, because we've got the singing bands are yes, reducing. Yes, the choirs are reducing. Yes, I yes. can't relax. They are, they are not reducing. <laughs> now, you see, um, when our students, I'm talking it from this point, when our students are down from school, every church elder understands that they find it difficult 
blending with our local choirs because of what the experience at the NAS. Because yeah. mm. when we, come to, we get to NAS, we, our form of singing everything tries to change. Mm -hmm. This is why most of the English churches we have of late is growing in number because they still behave like a NAS church. Mm. So if the, the, that young guy comes home and then he's around the church and he finds that, oh, yeah, church choir cried a bit, it's because of you. And then my main call. Is it a same thing? No, not, not the Abrofusem. We learn. What we learn, we cannot take it to our church choirs. Why? Let's be honest. When I take my choir to a rehearsal of four hours, I can't do the same with my church choir. Why? They will complain. Hmm. But for them, they know that we've come to learn. So anytime you see the youth together as a choir group, as a, as a, as a church order, you should be happy. You should understand that they are learning. And it's coming to help the local choirs. I can use so many choirs in Kumasi, for example, who have more than four members in my choir. Now, I don't go there to teach them again. Because when they come to learn the songs here, for all you know, you go there for another program. And the songs we are singing as a choral group, they are also singing it there. Now, the, 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 the payment of choir master to come and teach you there has even stopped. Because these four members come for us, they steal my songs or they copy my <laughs> songs. And they bring it down to you to learn. At least that released all, relieved all of us from certain kind of burdens. Mm -hmm. That is one. Two, you see, they think that it is actually getting the youth away from the church. Mm -hmm. That is something they should take it out of their mind. If one voice is not in Sakuma no SDA church, they are in uh, Prince Emmanuel, they are still in the church. Mm. So if your child is in a choral group, or if your church member who is a youth is in a choral group, and you feel that the person, hey, when you went to the choral, they don't come to church. No, they go to church. Just that the programs are taking them from one, one church. Adventist church to another Adventist church. People think that we are even lucky because they feel, um, how do I even put it? This is keeping our youth. Because when you take the choral groups, Adventists are having majority of the numbers. Yeah. Adventists are having the largest number when it comes to choral groups. Mm -hmm. Last year when I calculated, we are over 600 and yeah. over mm -hmm. choral groups across Ghana when it comes to SDA church. Mm -hmm. So it means that we are keeping our youth through these choral music. Mm -hmm. Just that they are not staying in one church. That one day, at times it will happen. They have programs with other churches. They would have to go. And, and you know, surprisingly, mm -hmm. most of the directors are the same directors of the local, uh, local church choirs. So why the backlash? Because I, for instance, am the district music All of us. <laughs> director for <laughs> my district mm. and i also play an important role in my church choir as well i have members who play important roles in their church, church choirs yes. the issue is that with our with our mothers and our fathers the moment they assume the position of an elder or any other position in the church they tend not to come for, for choir rehearsal again mm. meanwhile we came to meet them in the choir. But for one or two reasons, you find them out of the choir. So who is, who is collapsing the, the church choirs? So that's why they really don't understand what is yes. actually happening. It's, it's one issue I've been raising. I've been talking about it for, 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 for years. The moment someone assumes a position as an elder or any other position, mm. the person stops church, the church choir, just singing your band. But yeah. if you go to this, uh, our friends, uh, our methodists, our yes, presidents, yes. you find Grey 80 hair. years, Grey 60 hair. years, 70 years yes. in their choirs. So there's always discipline in their local church choirs. So, now who goes up? So, now who, now who? Actually, I don't want to sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, um, um, I think our viewers will now understand why it is what it is know that they are actually collapsing the singing band of the choir, but then there is a problem that needs to be resolved once and for all. But then, Eddie, what makes a choral music sound unique? I know, you know, last week we made mention of the keys we use. Are you strictly on that? <laughs> this, this thing, um, the keys is very, are very important. See, every composer writes the songs in a particular key and the key makes the song very beautiful so when you sing it in a different key it's, it makes the choristers uncomfortable mm. i think uh, that is where the choral groups are doing well sometimes when you go to the local choirs one woman be has been pitching so she just pitch and if they are comfortable and they are not comfortable they start singing it's either the pitch is 
up high mm -hmm. or very low for even basses not being able to sing very well. But with the choral group, the director is always the bar key. Even some of the directors, they get the scores and they look at the score and they will call the composer, boss, this score, can we do this, can we do that? So, so to there suit, could be a, 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 a yes. whereby you can change Change the something key. to suit the, but you take the permission of the composer. Mm. So you just change it. At times you see that, oh, this key for my choir, if you go a little tone ahead, it will make the song brighter for them. Mm. But you know, the church choirs doesn't mostly consider some of these things. Sound. When we are talking about sound, PA system is also another case. Something our church doesn't consider at all, at all, at all, at all. Mm. Because when they come to church and then you see that our sound engineer is a chief deacon. And the chief deacon <laughs> doesn't know anything about sound. Sometimes some of us who have been with the choral music and oh, we have understand, understood sound mixing and the rest. If you try to even educate the chief that, please, let's, let's do this, let's do that. We get a good sound for once. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Because during the dominating committee, your name was not mm -hmm. mentioned. You were mentioned as a music director. And that is really causing us. We buy machines. You go to most of the Adventist churches, and they don't have microphones for the church choirs to sing. Monitors, just monitors, so that when you sing, you hear what you are singing. The issue of organists playing so loud. You see the speakers at the back, and it has been lined out. There is no monitor in front of him. So you, you hear. The same organists are the ones playing for One Voice Blessed Family. But why is it that when we do our recordings, that one is very powerful. Mm -hmm. Because we've mm -hmm. rented sound and we've provided them with monitors. monitors. So whatever they play, they hear it. So they are not tempted to open their keyboard so loud. We need to invest in church sound. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. At this age, our choristers are singing with manpower. You go to a church and you see where the choristers are singing and where the last person is singing, sitting. And they expect that they sing to, for it to be beautiful. The singing band might not sing beautifully because there is no good sound. Mm. So we have to look, even at camp meetings, we are still at a point where we raise microphones like this on them. I mean, in camp meeting two is once a year. Can't we invest in good sound for these people to sing? So now music, the directors are doing well. They are teaching well. Mm -hmm. But our problem is investing in our PA systems mm. in the church. It shouldn't always be when we come and we do hello, hello, and we see that our software can preach well in the hello. It means sound is okay. Sound is not okay. Sound is okay when the musicians test it and they feel that all parts are okay. That's when we say the church's sound is okay. So I am really advising our leaders, they should give a good ear to this. Our sound issues in our local churches, during camp meetings, during revivals, mm -hmm. even outside crusade, you have this and you want to attract people. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is in a church that, oh. yeah, somebody who is in a church <laughs> that has correct That's sound, <laughs> kum, kum, kum. even drums, we give it a microphone. You want to convince this person to your church. And you are saying your sound is making this noise. <laughs> it's, it's not really uh, encouraging. Mm. So they should invest in sound when it comes to the music as, mm. as a whole. And then it's really going to make everything beautiful. It's going to make everything beautiful. Derek, so Eddie in his um, speech made mention of composer right. Could there be a situation whereby you get a writer, someone who can write a song, but not a composer? Uh, yeah, we have we have we have people like that who who can put the text together and give it to someone to 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 just put uh, the add harmony to, to to it. So there are people like that. I mean, when you look into our hymnals, you see people with text mm -hmm. by so so and so, mm -hmm. then music or harmony so so and so. So you have people like that. You have people like yeah. that. All right, and um. um my next question would be with um, the fact that you have strict, uh, strictness when it comes to picking keys. And that um, if we are going F is F, yeah. C is C. But sometimes we, we see the soloists, you know, going with the freestyle. Or for them, actually, you know, it doesn't affect them. Uh, it affects them because you, you always have to sing in key. You always have to sing in, in key. No matter... Let, let me use the word in kumios that you do, you still have to sing. By the time you should resolve, mm -hmm. you, sh you should still be in key because the choir will have to follow mm -hmm. right after you. So, being a soloist or something, or I mean, whoever, you must always sing. So far as you're part of a choral choir, group, yeah, yeah. it has to go that Even if you are doing a solo without a choir, 
big. It must always be in key. Because you are, you are, you are being accompanied by a keyboardist or, mm -hmm. I mean, any instrument. And with, before an, any instrument starts, mm -hmm. the instrument starts in, in, in a particular key. Mm -hmm. And you have to sing along with it. Yeah. You have to go along with yeah. it. So, um, dear one, we are discussing in depth of choral music. And you can join the conversation by dropping your comments on the comment section if you're watching us live on Facebook or YouTube. That's Hope TV Ghana. And WhatsApp is 0559-680066. 0559-680066. And I'll read it all out for you. I'm still with you, Derek. One voice. How is business now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, business. Is choral uh, music very lucrative? Like, you know. Uh, this, is a, this is a very big, big question. Uh, I wouldn't say it's lucrative, but we are trying to, to get it to that level whereby I can say it's lucrative enough. Uh, elsewhere, they are doing very well, but in Ghana, we are not finding our feet. Uh, because someone who may may invite you oh okay please give us this x of an amount to help to facilitate our movement to your program and back a why are you taking this amount but the person the, um, um adventure stretch or maybe some uh, uh uh, across oh, you, Eddie, why are you, laughing? You, you, you let me say across okay i don't want to be <laughs> let me say across uh when we take a music score, let's just say the sheet, mm -hmm. you have about four or five pages. The choir should be able to learn the song. By, by what means? We have to do photocopies for everyone. So let's say four, four leaflets. We are doing for 40 singers. You know the cost. Mm -hmm. This very Saturday, we have to do photocopies, just two songs. It, co it, it cost us almost 500 Ghana cities, just for two songs. Hmm. So yes. if you are doing like five? Yes. You yes. can yes. only imagine. Yes. So uh, a lot goes into it. So when, when you invite us and you say, okay, just give us this X of an amount, uh -huh. be, be considerate. I mean, just, just, just know that we are not just coming. A lot goes into it. Before you invite a group to a program, a lot goes into it. They are rehearsal time. Uh, uh, scores that they will print for rehearsal. Even their TNT to rehearsal and back to their, to their base. They are all cost. They are all cost. So I wouldn't say it's lucrative now because people still don't understand why they should, they should give some money to, group, to groups mm -hmm. to come for their programs. An example is, let's say someone invites you for a wedding. Meanwhile, you, the bride, or let's say the, like me, the couple, you've hired a photographer who is charging you over 5,000 Ghana cities for just pictures. Your costume, the man and the woman, all this cost. And you invite me to come f for that wedding, to sing for you, to dance, to enjoy yourself <laughs> very well. And I also ask for Something it's small. I know the you, you don't you don't agree. Eddie. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's the response they normally give. Yes, yes. And then one voice is to you well, almost shin a mejuma. Yes, you shin a mejuma. Now what the acoso. Be I shin a mejuma. My dear. So please, if you invite one voice or Eddie's group, please. <laughs> know that they need something. Oh, it's not just push, like you, know. you need the money. Because you are, no, it's like to need. actually, you know, yes, help sometimes support. Sometimes where you are coming from, Aquarius are not staying in our homes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know me to be at uh, Spintex and then you want my choir in Spintex. That doesn't mean all my choristers are in Spintex. This weekend, my choir came from all the way from Kumasi mm -hmm. for a program in Accra. And their transportation to and fro, they had to take it. I, I at a point looked at the price and said, no, we wouldn't have to charge you for something because of the transportation issues. Mm -hmm. But you know that when you, Derek was trying to run away from the fact that <laughs> our people from the other end really understand these things. 
That is why we have choir masters. I want when you go to, to uh, when you go to Kumasi, oh, let me be that. honest with you. In Kumasi, oh. the Presbyterian churches or the Sunday churches that are there, I, I am used to Presby, so let me use Presby, are having about 70% of their choir masters and organists being Adventist. But it will shock you that an Adventist church on Sunday is not having a Saturday, is not having a choir, an organist to play. But there is no Sunday that a Presby church will lack an organist. organist yeah. Why? Because that church is really taking good care of our own member. Sorry. Who is, and then they are there calling it Shabu. That is not Shabu. That is an office. Or well, the office. But I mean, they are taking good care of these people. They understand the ministry that these musicians are doing. Mm. So when they go there, there is an Assemblies of God Church in Kumas where my choir goes there. At times, mm -hmm. when they bring us the package after we have closed, I'm like, so if we in our head, yeah. Said. We don't charge them. We, don't, we have decided never to charge. But the, the package that will come. So you see that we are just not serious when it comes to our music. We think that it's a talent, everybody. Oh, yes, we can all sing, but we cannot all read. We cannot all play the keyboard. That is an additional skill some people have taken upon themselves. One voice can choose not to come to any Adventist program, and nobody can hold them responsible. Are you ha sure? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. They are individuals now. And I don't think they are affiliated to any particular church mm -hmm. as we speak. We know them to be all Adventists, but as in they are affiliated to maybe <laughs> Osu or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, Akosuya, if I'm part of this choir, can you tell me don't go for a mm -hmm. Because I'm your church member, I'm your choir, I'll be too much say and I'll be. No. So, you see that they'll be practicing a typical private thing away from the church. But a little token, mm -hmm. when they come for your programs, your weddings, everything, our organists, let's, let's look at them. Senior composers, why can you bring a whole Osebwa team to your church and then Osebwa team will close and you want Osebwa team to go like that? No. Imagine these Sunday people, they see their artists. They charge, now some artists are charging 30000 and over. And they are gladly paying. They are sowing seeds under their feet. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can't sow seed under Osebwa team's feet. <laughs> let's be honest and let's tell the truth. The truth is that th that is what they also learn. It is professional. Hmm. So let's also take it from that point. We are not forcing them to give us mm -hmm. money. Me, if I'm okay, I wouldn't even take your money. But if I'm not okay, they are come other and they dear. Things are not making. <laughs> so hmm. let me enjoy. I don't, I, I don't know why people are sending messages to me personally. Please send it to our WhatsApp line. And, and they are saying that, Ajoy is saying that, yes, if my two friends easily travel outside the country as a result of being part of a choral group, <laughs> do you expect me to still be with a singing band? I join you. I'm more Please calm down. Calm down. And then um, anonymous person, I don't know this number, is saying that, of course, what you're saying is true. Um, we need to support our own by paying something small. All right, it looks like most of them are commenting. Uh, Vera, Joa, they love us. Anyway. They know the work yeah, is yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, me, let me touch on what Eddie Riley said. <clears throat> now you find most of our young composers in other churches. Why? It's like gradually people are actually not just going to help, but they're actually leaving the church. Yeah. As, no, they, they've, as employed, the church. they've employed them. They've employed they're them. They're not the coming business, back to everything. be actually an Adventist. They're not they're, they've given them food. office. To operate yes i don't want to mention one, one name but that this guy is so talented an adventist when it comes to choral music choral music composition so sad but now he, he, he has not left the church yes. though but he's now working seriously for one, another church because all what he went to school to learn was, music. was just music that's true just music and he comes back home and he's in our church and we are not we are not ready to support him and then i saw it he has to go to somewhere that they are ready to support him to yeah. pay him to at least to get something to also look after his family, family. yeah <laughs> these, these are the challenges we are facing hmm. now <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, but still the show has to continue. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, um, I made mention about the business because um, probably our time might be up and we won't hit on that. 
that's why I chipped that in yeah, early yeah, yeah. so that at least yeah. we can have that discussion because before the show some people like let's talk about this let's <laughs> talk about this so I hope my dear friends who sent those messages I've hit on that for you let's see how best we can help our choral groups now um, Eddie moving to um, the music like the songs coming out someone made mention that when it comes to choral music I can listen to, um, I want to use an individual, not basically um, I'm, I'm a choral song, but example, Kofi Kinata. Choral music can make their own and it sounds different from that of, let's say, Kofi Kinata, or maybe even Maki Nimwenchi's music. At first, at least now I've come to know, at first when I'm home, and I hear something like that, I'm like, ah, but this is not Makini Winchi's song. Because how he actually sang the song and listened to these people, so much you want to do. They are you know, doing too much skirmishes. Is that you are doing too much skirmishes, or that's how choral music is supposed to be? You see, music is a very big art, and then it, it gives room for <laughs> every musician to do whatever he or she likes with songs. So when you take some, some singers, they play along with certain songs when they take it. So you see that um, recently when there was a competition in Rwanda, my brother Joel was rewarded as a gospel, mm -hmm. uh, best male gospel, gospel singer. Absolutely. His style of singing, mm -hmm. mm, I, I always play along with him, say, hey, you play along with songs. So. But that is how he sings. Mm -hmm. That is how he does it. And he does it well. He does it very well. So when you give songs to Christ, that's why I said whenever we pick the songs, at times we sing by a feeling may come in yeah. as you read a score yeah. and you may reach the composer that, please, this part I want to touch this way. This part I want to touch, touch this, this way. way. So it's an art. Okay. And as an art, you need to be creative around uh -huh. it. That is why the singers are creative around it. And when we are creative and we feel that, oh, this creativity is not going to affect God's word, the words are still in there. This creativity okay. is not going to affect the beauty of the song. <laughs> of the Even song the beauty is going to be much. Okay. Then we accept it and we move on. However, too much of everything it's sometimes bad. <laughs> is bad. At times they do it and you don't even hear the song again. Yeah. At times came as, hey, UCC4 and the Legon <laughs> people are in. Uh -huh. So that one too, we need to look at that. Because anytime mm -hmm. we are singing, we should make sure the lyrics go to the people. They need, I, I am always particular about lyrics. If the songs, the, at times I tell my organist, this very song, we are not playing keyboard. Okay. And they're like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, arrangement. Say, we are not playing. Because I, I want the song to go. The way I want mm -hmm. it to go, it has to go a cappella. It doesn't have to go with the instrumentations with it. Mm -hmm. So we need to learn all these things because music is a great art. As we are learning, I believe that no, our church ministers and our elders cannot learn the way we are learning, but at least they should also learn the basic aspects of church music so that they will understand us at times. Mm. Because they are failing to learn that part, I'll be bold on that. Most of the church leaders are really not learning the church music. It's really affecting us. And then anything you bring about, they really condemn it badly. All right, Derek, our time is almost... Um, almost up. Eddie has touched on some of the things that um, we can do to help choral music and then, um, you know, in church as in general. What's your um, comment on that as well? Yeah, I think what the church must also try and do this time is invest in training of, of, of their, their, their singers, mm. in ch especially the church choirs and singing bands. Mm. Uh, I mean, when, when with, 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 with our private groups, that we find ourselves, we invest so much in that. We hire people to come and train us vocally and also take us to a few musical stuff. So what the church can also do now, you know, th things are changing. I mean, the world is changing. They must invest in, in, in their singers. At least Adventist is known for music. For music. For music. Should give they should invest in their music. And my other worry, when you are trying to put up church buildings, they must consider sound. <laughs> mm. We shouldn't just be building, excuse me to say, anyhow. Mm -hmm. Because when you travel outside and you visit these churches, this cathedrals, yeah. 
you, you wouldn't find any microphone, but you could sing and, and everyone could, could hear you. Mm. So it's about time we, we pay attention to that. And as, as he said earlier, our PA. You know, one church is doing very well. I won't mention any, but when oh, you go to... Oh, mention, so that uh, they know they are doing uh, well. Let me use Madina Central, Pastor okay. Obed, Obed's church. Sure. Ah. Yeah, they've, they've set up <laughs> microphones for both choiristers oh, and the singing band oh, members as well. I love so when you go there, there, you see the setup for the choiristers oh. and you see the setup for the singing band. At least it's a step in the right direction. Sure. When they move out of the church, they are not mm -hmm. afraid to use the microphones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Churches that don't have this setup, mm -hmm. when, when, the choir, when the choirs move out of the church and, and you tell them to go behind the microphone, you see people just going back as mm -hmm. if they are scared of the microphones. That's why I say charity begins at home. So when we start with this at in our local churches, mm -hmm. when our choirs move out, they will see they will see they will see them to be confident and be doing very well. So all I think right. um, we, we, we 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 need to pay attention to all these things. All right, Derek. Thank you. But then a quick one: um, acknowledging some of our composers like Samkia Saribediakun. J.K. Mwako, Osei Boateng, Kwabana Donko, New Love Annan, and all the powerful Adventist composers. Even if I didn't mention you, and we say, God bless you for lifting up the flag of Adventists. And all the choral group, One Voice, um, the La Choral, Symphonials, yeah. Medley, um, Kasua, Inspiration, well, yeah. La Choral, all of those choral groups, we say, God bless you. Keep pushing. Oh, you didn't um, mention any CCC, hey, Divine Choral. Please help me with that. <laughs> Divine Choral, <laughs> Celestial City, yes, the yes. choir. Yes, they are doing uh, the choir. Yeah. All uh, those amazing. Tom Tom's group. MIC. MIC. Yeah, well. God bless you. You are doing massively amazing for God and then um, Adventist Church as a whole. Thank you so much, Eddie and then Derek. Welcome. We pray that all these messages you pass across will, you know, Grow well. It's never Eddie and Ibe. Please, because Eddie feels it won't work. Yeah, me and Ibe. Amen, amen. So, uh, my name is Nana Akusia Boachi, and to all our viewers who joined us, we say God bless you for joining us. If I wasn't able to read your comment, don't worry, we will do that. Don't worry, we'll do that for you. We'll meet same time next week. Until then, please stay safe and stay blessed.